It all started here on this farmyard back in August 2016. But since then, since Colton Bushy was shot and killed just a few meters from here, this case has reverberated throughout Canada. There was no justice served here today. In the moments after Gerald Stanley's acquittal, there was rage, there was sadness, and there were demands for justice. Canada's justice system is failing First Nations people. National Indigenous leaders say this case points to serious flaws in the justice system and they are calling for a complete overhaul of everything from the jury selection process to how Indigenous victims are treated. This justice system, it, 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 as evidenced by the, the, the rallies across Canada, Canadians know it's wrong. Canadians know it's flawed. And so we've got to get down to work and fix it. And so I do call on Prime Minister to fix it and the Premiers to fix it, Scott Moe to fix this. Less than 24 hours after that ruling, people took to the streets. They repeated a phrase that's become a rallying cry across the country. Now, just days after the verdict, tensions are again simmering. An online GoFundMe page for Gerald Stanley has raised more than $70,000. Facebook and social media is again filled with hateful comments. Indigenous people I spoke to today say this hate it's nothing new, but they are reflecting on what the Bushi case means for Saskatchewan, what it means for Indigenous people across Canada. Decision really just reinforces uh, the, the notion that, that white men in Saskatchewan can really just uh, inflict horrible violence against Indigenous people with little to no repercussions. You can see now the farmyard where Bushi was killed is covered in snow. This house where Stanley lived appears to be empty and his whereabouts are unknown. But what is clear is this is not the last we've heard of this case. It is not the last time we will hear the words Colton Bushy or Gerald Stanley. Charles Hamilton, CBC News, near Glenside, Saskatchewan.